That was not there this morning. No, no it wasn't. Do you think we should call somebody? That's all right. I've got it. Sky replacements can be a lot of fun. And thanks to DaVinci Resolve and their AI powered sky replacement tool, they've gotten really easy too. And as it turns out, the sky replacement tool was the cornerstone of my latest sketch, which you saw at the beginning of this video. So let's take a look at how to use it. Now, before we get too deep into this, the sky replacement tool is only available in DaVinci Resolve Studio. That being said, there are a few ways to replace the sky in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. I have a video about one of those methods linked in the description of this video. In order to use the sky replacement tool in DaVinci Resolve, all you need is a piece of footage that has a shot of the sky. For this video, I filmed with my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K on my front porch. Once you have your footage in DaVinci Resolve, head to the color page. From there, add a new serial node and create a mask of your sky. Now, most of the videos you watch about doing this will tell you to either use the 3D qualifier to create your mask, or if your foreground is a single structure, the magic mask. For my clip, the 3D qualifier didn't give me the results I needed, so I ended up using a Luma qualifier and then cleaning it up with a power window over the foreground. Luckily, there was no movement in the shot, so I didn't have to do any tracking. Once you're done creating your mask in your effects panel, search for sky replacement and drag the effect to an open area in your node graph. From there, connect the output of your serial node to the input of your sky replacement node and the output of your sky replacement node to the output point on your node graph. Now, the primary objective of this sky replacement tool is actually to create an artificial sky, which we can do by first connecting the alpha output of the node where you created your mask of the sky with the alpha input of your sky replacement node. Then select your sky replacement node and in the inspector, head to the artificial sky section and turn up the sky opacity to one. From there, you can change your sky color, horizon color, brightness, and even add clouds. Darren Mostyn has a great tutorial that goes into a lot more detail about the settings of the sky replacement tool. I'll have that link below as well. But for now, let's move on because because for this video, I didn't create an artificial sky. I used a sky from somewhere else and the sky replacement tool has the ability to let you do that. So I headed over to Artlist Max, which is where I get all of my stock footage, searched for space and got a ton of options. And if you haven't heard about Artlist Max yet, you should. They really do give you everything you need to create the videos that you want to create, like stock footage, music, sound effects, and even templates for titles and motion graphics. In fact, all of the sound effects, music, and stock footage that you hear and see in this video are from Artlist Max. And it's all story driven, so when I click on a clip I like, like this one, I can see a bunch of other footage that was filmed in the same set. It really makes it super easy. Artlist Max will be linked below if you want to check them out. And if you sign up using that link, you'll get two months free. Thanks so much to Artlist Max for sponsoring this video. And now with our sky clip selected and downloaded, we can head back to DaVinci Resolve and bring our sky clip into our node graph and connect it to our sky replacement node. Now, right off the bat, our sky looks absolutely horrible, mostly because it doesn't match the foreground at all. Luckily, we can fix that using all of the settings that are available with the sky replacement tool. So we'll first start off by adjusting the mask to close some of the gaps around the edges. Then we'll bring down the opacity of the sky, defocus it, and bring up the exposure slightly. From there, it's time to match the foreground to the sky, which we can do automatically in the foreground appearance section. First, we'll select the checkbox. Then in the dropdown menu, change the auto adaptation to match horizon. Then we'll adjust the adaptation amount, brightness, temperature, and tint. Finally, we'll bring our global blend down to 0.8 to bring back some of our original sky. After that, I did some grading to the other clips, finished it off with a LUT and some film grain on the entire timeline, did some sound design, and got this. Now, again, this sky replacement tool is only available if you have the studio version of DaVinci Resolve, but all of this is possible in the free version too. To see how you can do that, click here. And until next time, don't forget to go out and make stuff. Thanks for watching.